so uh, now the same setup except i have connected the probe on the on the wire which is going to the going as an input to the from the power supply to this l298 and you can see the current here um, it's pretty interesting to observe uh, how the current when it flows through an inductor and how it behaves so the rising one when the pwm is on is really the inductor current and when the pwm is off the voltage across the inductor becomes so big that it pushes a current across the dc bus in the opposite direction and so you get a reverse current and somewhere here it, the energy goes over and so it settles down to zero and from here again uh, it starts rising when the pwm the next cycle of the pwm rises and it falls so uh, typically for measuring and again um, there is no change on the sine waveform which is really the output of the ac712 it's noisy as usual so it's really not very good to measure to use this acs712 sensor um, to do measurements of uh, low current uh, for measuring low current you really need to use a um, use a uh, shunt resistor which doesn't have this kind of noise you see the noise that is visible here if you are using a shunt resistor then you will get a clean waveform like this what i am getting from the tektronics the probe now uh, how do you eliminate the noise uh, or eliminate the pwm frequency that is riding on this that is going up and down up and down so typically we do a synchronized measurement that is the measurement is done somewhere in the center right at this point and at this point and at this point so if you synchronize the pwm the current measurement with respect to pwm somewhere in the center of the pwm on time then you will measure only the center point which typically is the current that you say that the current is seen by the motor and the, the most of the hardware uh, or the adc and the pwm in this device stm32 has some means of actually doing that you can also uh, explain the same principle uh, by uh, same concept by nyquist sampling theorem that means if you are sampling at the pwm frequency you will not see the pwm frequency but you will see any other frequency any lower frequency and which is typically what the current is flowing now i will just run it and show you how does it behave so uh, you see the current is there and if i put my hand and uh, so the current actually falls down in this case for some reason mm, but uh, it also rises and falls as you see i'll put it here maybe now you can have a better idea as the current goes higher the see so it's really a very good way to do a measurement of current and if you want to do a torque control of dc motor this is the only way that you should do it